Look, yeah. Pull up you deep on my niggas, consider it's pivotal Trap through the app, make her clap it, don't cap it, she tapping it fast I think that she know they be catching it Standing six feet up, casting a shadow of niggas They talk like they bad, they know that we got it They talk off from actual, I make the race so tsunami I dare you to paddle it, the trunk steady rattling Blowing top tier to keep my thoughts clear I see the opt-in there, I'm on my shot Call it big bar shit, I never know the time I'm never clocking it, wildflower I'm like Denzel, I been the man on fire, bitch I'm hot lava, you are not scarlet, you are present proudly I'm a real nigga to the coffee still What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. In today's video, I want to let you know that my newest pack has just been released on my website. Link is in the description. Also guys, I'm going to be giving away the entire collection to a lucky winner. All you have to do is go to my Instagram and comment and I'm going to be choosing a random winner. The collection is worth $200. This is going to be the new pack here. So the 20 drag and drop retro flash transitions. You can cycle through the uh, gifs or gifs here that I created so you can kind of see the examples uh, that I've kind of created. So it's gonna be these little flashing retro transitions that you can use in between clips or scenes to really spice up your videos. All right, so I'm in Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna also show you how to do this in DaVinci Resolve. So if you wanna to skip to DaVinci Resolve, do that. And if you want to skip to where I show you how to do it in Adobe Premiere Pro, then skip to the time code right now. So this is going to be for Final Cut Pro. So what you wanna do is once you purchase and download the pack, you're gonna go over to File, Import, Media. So this is the way you actually use the pack. So please don't try to install this as a plugin or something like that, because it's not going to work. And then here you will have the list of all of the entire uh, transitions. So you can cycle through them here really quickly. T01, which is transition one and then you have t02 which is transition two and they're all slightly different with a little bit of different color variations i wanted to make sure that you guys have a nice selection once you've um you know chosen one you can click import selected or if you want to import all of them select the first one hold shift and then select the bottom one and click import all okay so once you import all of the clips here or all of the transitions it's going to appear in the project window and maybe we can add one like right here so i'm going to go and select this one i think could be kind of cool so I'm going to click and drag that one there, drag it in between the two clips or the two scenes, and then select the clip, go over to the inspector tab, and then under compositing, next to blend mode, you're going to change this from normal down to screen, and then you're done. So that's all you got to do here, and of course you can also add a sound effect if you want to, to really spice up the overall transition. Uh, of course the sound effects are not included, I had to resource that just for the uh, promo ad and then I'm gonna go to another one maybe this one click and drag and then I'm gonna change the blend mode one more time just go to screen or make sure that the flash is in between the two cuts so push play and there you go really smooth very clean all right so I'm now in Adobe Premiere Pro and the way you would use this is right now I'm on the latest version of uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, which I personally do not like. I mean, they completely changed the whole entire file manager, which is really annoying. It is what it is. So anyways, we're going to be using this video here from Jack Harlow. And then over here is the project window. Just double click. I'm going to go over to the folder with all of the transitions. Click and select all of them and click import. And this will import all of the transitions. You can then cycle through them quickly to kind of see what they look like. And then I'm going to zoom in here in between two scenes. So maybe... Uh, right there. I'm going to click and drag this right in between those uh, or in between that clip here. And then I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to change the blend mode. And the reason this is like a weird aspect ratio is because it's going from the original music video. So just select the transition. If you click here, you're going to go to the effect controls. And then inside of the edit here, you're going to go down to opacity window and then you're going to go next to blend mode. And just like in Final Cut Pro, you're going to change it from normal to screen or lighten but i like choosing a screen so now if i go back and push play it's going to look just like this super clean and very easy to use again it's not a preset or a plugin you don't install this through the files or uh, like through here in, in uh, premiere pro and then this is pretty much going to be the same exact process for like say sony vegas or filmora say right here in between these two cuts and i'm going to add another one so i'm going to say this one click and drag this and then kind of zoom in, preview it, I think that looks cool. And then again, change, select the clip and then change the blend mode to screen. So now when I go back and push play, it's gonna look just like that. All right guys, so we're now in DaVinci Resolve and as always, this editing program is free for both PC and Mac. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag the clip into the timeline. I'm gonna go maybe like right here 
and then I'm going to zoom into the timeline a little bit, right about there. I'm going to go through and see which one I like. So I think this one's cool. So just click and drag this again above your media. So just make sure your editing software has the ability to stack clips like this. Okay, so I'm going to change the bun mode of the uh, transition here on the right. So I'm select the clip, go to the inspector window over here under the video tab. You're going to go down to composite mode from normal. Again, you're going to change it. You can cycle through kind of get a different look, but we're gonna go with screen. Here we go, screen, and then go back and push play, and you are done. It's that simple, literally. So if we were to go to like another area in the video, so say here, so I'm gonna go with this one, click and drag, move it in between these two clips, select it, change the blend mode to screen, and then you're done, so push play and then it'll look just like that. Visit the link down in the description and also comment on my second post on Instagram for a chance to win the entire collection, including this one as well. And that'll be it for this video.